All right, y'all, here is how you find your Google Slideshow. So basically, I've just opened up a new tab, and here I am at google.com. There are two ways you can do this. You can look down here. These are going to be the um, different kinds of websites that you go to a lot. Google kind of tracks that and tells you where you've been a lot. So they have these icons down here. So I go to my drive a lot, so it's already located here. Another place you can find my drive is by clicking on these nine dots next to your initial. So my first name is Lindsay, my initial is an L. I'm gonna click on the nine, drop, nine dots and I can also find drive here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on drive. Now, obviously I'm a teacher, my drive is gonna look a little bit different than yours. But drive's set up in this way. You can create folders on your own for different classes and different subjects and things like that. And you can keep all your stuff organized that way. Um, you can also quickly access different kinds of slideshows and documents and different things that you access a lot. They put it right up here front and center for you to find. But if you are not able to find your art slideshow, here's how you can find it. If you go down here to shared with me, that is where you can find it. So shared with me is going to show you different things that people have shared with you. So all of these different folders, all of these teachers have shared them with me and um, I can grab anything that they've shared with me right there. So you're gonna have a section that says, Lindsay Ripley shared this with me and that is where you're going to find your personal art slideshow. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this example slideshow. Right now on the cover, the first page of this slideshow, it says student name. You can change that to your name. So I'm going to put my full name, Lindsay Ripley. And then you can also add your class period. So if you are in first period, you're going to write first period. If you are in second period, you're going to write second period. And then this is the slideshow where you are updating all of your project stuff. So you're gonna insert pictures of your projects here. So, um, so far we have done this warm up. So I just pulled a drawing of an eye I did as a warm up um, from August 31st through September 4th. I went ahead and gave you guys a rubric so that you'll have it. I'm gonna move this up here. So if you wanna move and reorganize your um, slideshow, you can. So I just moved my rubric up and you can move slides just by clicking them and sliding them into place where you want them. Um, another thing you can do to help yourself is you can put art one, or you can put art up here in this title so that when you go to search for art, this will come up in your search. So that's another easy way to identify. But I do want your name to be part of the title because when I go in and I grade stuff, I need to be able to type in your name. So that needs to be in the title. All right, so you should already have your About Me choice board on here. So all I did to insert a picture of my choice board is I replaced the image that was already there. You should already have written out your responses to the About Me artist statement. If you want to make your, your stuff stand out, you can change the color. So this is gray, I can change it to white and that will help the answers stand out. This is just your choice. You could leave it all the same. I'm gonna be able to read it no matter what. So whichever color you make it or whatever size you make it, that's fine. If you if it bothers you that this goes all the way to the bottom, um, you can change the font size, that's fine. And I'm having trouble highlighting this, there we go. I think that when I change it to brighter, it's easier to see. But I also kind of want this to fit a little bit better. So right up here, you can select the size. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that it fits inside the box. You don't have to do this, it's totally optional. So I also have my warm ups from September 8th through 11th. I did germs floating in the sky. There's some scribble scrabble in the back. I was definitely just scribbling, but I drew these little amoeba germs floating in the air because that just happens to be on my mind a lot. There is a, um, an observational line drawing slide. Some of you have already put a picture in there and that's fine, but what I want you to put in here is going to be the project that, um, you end up creating later this week. We're gonna do an observational line drawing of our shoe. So you're gonna insert that picture. So you can sometimes replace an image, but if there's not an image to replace, you just go to insert image 
and it's going to, you can choose camera. That's the easiest way. And here I am. So you can take a picture just by clicking right there and it'll take your picture. Of course, your picture is gonna have you holding up your drawing. So that's the goal with that. Um, so you can insert that picture and there it is. But obviously I don't want a picture of you guys. I want a picture of the observational drawing of your shoe. We will do that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I also have put, some of you I have already added this slide, but if you've not, if you don't see this slide in your slideshow, um, you're gonna click on six and hit enter and it's gonna put a new slide. So new slide number seven. I'm gonna call this one blind contour hand. It says here to click to add text. We don't want this, we're just gonna delete it. So um, we are going to do something where we do blind contour hand drawings and we're gonna do that um, on Tuesday. So go ahead and create yourself a new slide so that you can put a picture of your blind contour hand in. So you can add slides. If you accidentally delete something, just let me know and I can help you add it. You just send me a message on its learning or you can add it yourself. Um, I will periodically probably be giving you um, something that you can copy and paste into here. I might share the slideshow with you. That's my example. And you can copy and paste stuff into your own slideshow. So um, you'll be able to edit and make this into your own thing. This is totally your portfolio. This is where all of your hard work goes so that you can really see as we add slides to this, your skill set is going to grow. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you are still confused, feel free to send me a message on its learning or send me an email and I can help you out with any of this. Bye.